Today, I'm gonna to be making what I call my fasting chili. It's a vegetarian chili that's packed with a lot of flavors. A chili that's good for intermittent fasting is low in calories, but very nutrient dense. I'm going to start with a red onion. The redness actually has more bioactives and can reduce inflammation. Next comes the garlic. And just like onion, garlic is anti-inflammatory. We're gonna move on to the celery. And celery is a great source of dietary fiber, which feeds your gut health, which is good for your metabolism. Gonna move that to the side. Next, we're gonna go for the carrot. Carrots are great sources of a bioactive called carotenoids, and carotenoids are good for your eyesight. Next up, green pepper. Green pepper got another great source of dietary fiber. Next, we have purple potatoes. These are not regular potatoes. They've got a natural dye called anthocyanin that makes them purple. Another thing that's important about purple potatoes is that they actually make you feel fuller. So you're less likely to eat more food or overeat later on during the day. Basil and fresh oregano, anti-inflammatory, good for the metabolism. All right, now we are actually ready to go to the stove and put it together. So the first thing we're gonna do is take some extra virgin olive oil, and then we're going to sweat the chopped onions and garlic together. The celery and the carrots and the green pepper. You just let it cook for two or three minutes to soften up. Next, I'm gonna add the pureed tomatoes, white beans, Right in there, super easy. Black beans, I'm right in there. Now it's starting to look like a chili. And then I'm gonna throw the purple potatoes in there. And also these herbs. Now, before we start putting the spices in, I like to put a cup of water. This will actually thin it out. Don't worry, the water's gonna cook away two tablespoons of chili powder, one teaspoon of paprika, one teaspoon of cumin. These are all anti-inflammatory, antioxidant, great for your metabolism. Mix it all together now. Mm, smells like a great chili already, but you gotta let it cook. It takes about 20 minutes of all these flavors blending together and cooking down before it's done. All right, my favorite part, let's try the chili. Mmm, so good. This chili is easy, nutritious, and delicious. Thanks for joining me in my kitchen.